It's almost an arms race, a very deadly game played by two players that have a lot of vested interest in winning. Academy researcher Shannon Bennett is talking about the intimate but not so friendly relationship between parasites and their hosts. They're both evolving organisms. The host is going to evolve mechanisms to avoid being parasitized, and the parasite is going to evolve mechanisms to enable it to parasitize. Shannon is a virologist who studies the evolutionary history of viruses, and she's leading the charge in the Academy's newest area of research, the Department of Microbiology. You might say that microorganisms found her. As a college student, she volunteered one summer in Liberia, where she became very sick with malaria and amoebic dysentery. It left a lasting impression on me. I was fascinated by the life history of parasitism, how those microorganisms were uh, circulating in nature, how I'd become exposed, and how they had infected me. I wanted to know the entire dynamic. Most folks would run in the other direction and get as far away from the disease-causing microorganisms as possible, but not Shannon. Since then, I've been fascinated with microorganisms, always asking the question, where do they occur in nature, how many of them are there, and how do they switch into new hosts? Right now, she's applying those questions to study dengue virus. Dengue virus is transmitted amongst humans by mosquitoes, but it was not always transmitted amongst humans. It used to be transmitted amongst non-human primates. Sometime in the distant past, in these non-human primates, the dengue virus has diversified into four main species. And what's very interesting is that although that occurred thousands of years ago, on the order of hundreds of years ago, each of those four species made an independent jump into humans. Some of the questions that I've been focusing on with dengue virus have been focused on now that the viruses have switched into humans, what's going on? So how have they continued to evolve and track changes in, in human and vector biology? She asked these questions from a completely different perspective. You can take things from a host-centric point of view or a pathogen-centric point of view, and I just for some reason was thinking about the pathogen and how, how does it, what's the day in the life of a pathogen? How does it circulate? How does it uh, negotiate all these really challenging barriers in its life history to find a host, to enter the host, to beat out the immune system, to survive and replicate in the host, and then to be transmitted to the next host. Survival, evolution not so different from the other, larger organisms studied here at the Academy. Organisms that Shannon likes to call hosts. To uh, find myself in a group of people that are thinking about the evolution of diversity in, in many host groups, to me that's an opportunity to look at how evolution in hosts and diversity of hosts affects the diversity of microorganisms. So it's a perfect opportunity.